Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and today we're going to check out the official main trailer for Blackpink's The Movie, which is part of the 4 Plus 1 project uh, 45th anniversary and I'm really intrigued by this. I think this is the best word to describe because everybody really wants to see, alright, what does YG have in store for us? Because I'm not really sure yet what to expect from this. Um, the idea of having a full theater 90 minute like a Blackpink movie that you really can watch in the cinema is definitely a cool idea but I just can't really um, get something in my mind yet where I would say all right this is like worthy or need to be a movie you know because uh, a lot of the guys are pretty fresh uh, the show was only half a year ago or so so what do they have in store for us what uh, could they be adding into this to really make uh, blinks and just general audience to say all right this is a must watch for me because I've yet to decide if I want to watch it in the cinema uh, I would have to uh, ride a train for an hour to get there and then watch it there and whatnot so that definitely adds up on the money so I want to see if there is um, something in this trailer where I really say all right this is a must watch for me, I need to watch it in the cinema. And even if that's not the case, then I will definitely at least watch it over Google Play, at least uh, they made that available, but that's definitely plus already. But yeah, I really want to see what ha does this movie have in store for us? What uh, could there be in it? Because from the other stuff we've seen just for from the 4 plus 1 projects, I really gotta say it's not been that, um, you know, it's really been disappointing, like another photo book, reverse announcement as part of a big project. Whatever, you know, I don't think anybody's really excited by that. But yeah, I'm still excited for this nonetheless. I really want to see where this is going, so I'd say. Let's stop the talking. Let's start the reacting. Blackpink, the movie, the main trailer. Enjoy. How it all started. All right. I would love if we get like something from each year or something, like new scenes from 16, 17. Okay, more sit down interviews. Maybe like arena shows? Okay, they look definitely amazing as always. I really didn't try to put my heart and soul into it. Okay, this is definitely more performance based, at least for now. I want to say thank you for always supporting me. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Oh, okay, it's getting emotional nonetheless. Oh, okay. That's the catcher right there at the end of the trailer because I really got to say the, the beginning stuff of this was like, okay. All right, sure. It's more performance based this time. You know, Light Up the Sky was more a uh, behind the scenes look at Blackpink members and their lives. But this definitely seems more like uh, around their performances, around the concerts and probably the show and whatnot. Uh, but at ending part there... Oh yeah, also, did I notice that Ryan the black and white? Because probably Lisa's still with blonde hair already. Let's watch it again. How it all started. Gotta say, this part here... Nothing too crazy. Like, that was what we expected. Happy smoke. Okay, Lisa's getting emotional. I think that's definitely a catcher for many people to say, oh my god, I need to watch this. Like, what I would love are like... Dance practices we've never seen. Yeah, the scenes kind of from throughout the years that we've never seen, from 16 to 17, 18, whatnot. I'm sure they have footage for that. Performing on stage is one of the best parts. Yeah, they're mostly talking about how they developed and evolved. Okay, but now like the main part here at the end. What is what is going on with Lisa? I think the movie. But now. say thank you for always supporting me <laughs> yeah that's all okay lisa's definitely getting emotional all right if lisa's getting emotional then maybe the rest as well but yeah the fact that this is black and white 
like already tells me okay she's yeah she's definitely in blonde here it's like i think we saw a leaked photo or something from the staff or whatnot from uh some amusement park or whatever where they filmed something i'm expecting this is like the fourth part maybe like something like a summer diary type of thingy once again where they were like in this amusement park and did stuff there and maybe as fifth the comeback or a special song or whatnot anniversary song but yeah, they look gorgeous. See, Elisa is definitely rocking the blonde hair again, probably also for her Zola, which we now finally know is in August. It's good to at least have finally a month finalized. Um, but yeah, Elisa's going to get emotional. That's uh, definitely, like I said, definitely a catcher for many people, for many, uh, for many blings. Uh, to go and see, okay, what does, what could this be about? Why is she getting emotional? What happened here? But otherwise, I really gotta say, it's the main trailer, so it's like the trailer that will be shown everywhere, I guess. It's nothing too, you know, there's there's no real... I've yet to see, like, besides this ending, these few seconds with Lisa getting motion at the end, with all sitting there together, the rest is every like, basically stuff we've all seen already. It's mostly just, you see stuff behind the scenes, you see the show related stuff, concert related stuff, but you didn't really get to see anything new yet. Like if you just go from the trailer, it's basically just stuff you've already seen or like they've talked about, you know, like we had the start, we had the show, backstage content already, we had a lot of the sky, a lot of backstage concert uh, stuff already, so what the do they have for us to really feel these 90 minutes with um, things where you go like, okay, this is a completely new experience for me, I needed this. I really want to see where that is going. Like mentioned, I would love to get like backstage footage and um, dance practices you've never seen before um, from throughout the entire years. It doesn't need to be uh, like um, like for every year five things or so. But like imagine we're getting a new clip from 2016 or from 2017. How awesome would that be? But yeah, it's it's interviewing nonetheless because like this trailer doesn't give a lot away. I think why do you really rely on knowing, okay, Blinks definitely want to see this, um, like mentioned here, the, the ending here with Lisa getting emotional, all of them sitting together, probably looking through some moments, I guess that's something they will be doing as well, sitting down here, they all have the screens around them and they're going to like, go through their careers together. It will probably be like a flashback onto their years and maybe hopefully they will be getting some new scenes in it too. But yeah, the movie main trailer, it's alright, there's no... You know, no spice in it where you say, alright, this is a must-watch movie for me. If it will be worth the two-hour train ride overall to get there and watch it and whatnot. Um, but I will definitely watch it nonetheless over Google Play Store. Maybe I won't have worked that day or have off time and I will say, okay, never mind. Let's, let's go there nonetheless. But for now, it's still fine. You know, it doesn't show too much, they know people will watch it either way, so yeah. That was Blackpink's 5th anniversary, the movie main trailer. And yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this reaction. Please tell me down below your thoughts on this trailer. Did you like it? Uh, what was your... What is the thing that makes you say, Alright, I need to watch this in the cinema. Or can you even watch it in a cinema? I know that many people don't have the option yet due to COVID restriction and cinema still being closed in some countries, especially in Southeast Asia. But, um... I still feel like this will be doing very well. I still think this will be definitely be doing some good numbers, will sell a lot of tickets. And I think the idea of like being there together with Blinks watching it instead of like watching it at home alone or whatnot, I think that's definitely cool. But yeah, I really want to see what the two remaining projects will be. Hopefully like this uh, Summer Diary type of thing and an anniversary song. Um, like mentioned, the photo book and reverse thing were definitely a bit disappointing. Uh, but yeah, Blackpink, the movie main trailer. If you enjoyed my reaction, leave a like down below to show me that you did. Your thoughts on this trailer down below as well. And as always, if you want to support me, then you can leave us up as well. It would help me a lot. I see you again with Blackpink related content tomorrow when we're going to check out the two newest performances from Rose on the Sea of Hope and I will soon be pulling out my uh, Blackpink tier list video wearing each song in their discography. Otherwise more upcoming releases we will be checking out, more other releases we will be catching up on. So for whatever content you may be interested in, for whatever content you may want to tune in for, I hope to see you again soon on this channel. Stay safe, healthy and happy, have a great time, have a great week, thanks for watching.